Hi, I'm Troy, and you're watching TroyTube Florida Edition. You heard that right. We are in Florida. We have not moved to Florida. We bought a condo in Fort Myers. So we're down here enjoying the sunshine, the hot weather. I think it was like 86 degrees today. We were out by the pool. It, it occurred to me last week we were out by the pool when it's technically still winter time. So just enjoying it. My daughter flew down for a few days for spring break um, and, and loved it. And, uh, you know, we're planning on moving down here in the next year or two probably. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, just going to make that jump finally and, and not have to deal with the snow anymore uh, for the most part. But for now, uh, just enjoying a, a condo here and, uh, you know, just, just really, um, you know, trying to relax and, and have a good time. So hence the tan and the, the sun. I've already gotten a little bit of too much sun to get enough sunscreen on and burnt and peeled one time. Uh, I sent some pictures to somebody the other day and they also made a comment about the fact that I've lost weight. So I uh, Probably have a couple comments about that. Yes, I've lost weight. I've been to the gym. I think today was like my 37th trip to the gym this year since January. So I've dropped like 30 pounds and feel great and uh, things are going wonderfully. So one of the things that we need to do here is decorate this place. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make a real simple little sign for our half bath downstairs. We're going to do that with this little shiplap. Uh, a piece that I bought off of Amazon. These come in a two pack. They are on my Amazon store. Uh, you can go to troygram.com. You'll see an icon at the top to shop my Amazon store and you'll find those in there. Again, they come in a two pack. What I really like, they came with, it, it has a really nice smooth surface. You can put vinyl on really easily. So I really, really like that. We're gonna make one of these funny little signs that says, uh, get naked, and it says, just kidding, it's a half bath, don't make it weird or something like that. And uh, we're gonna buy that SVG from Design Bundles. I'll put the link uh, to that and to my Amazon store in the description of the video down below. Again, you'll be able to find that link and everything on my, uh, on uh, troygram.com. If you haven't joined Troy Graham, you'll want to do that too because there'll be a lot more content coming this year on that site that you won't want to miss. Uh, there's a community there. There's rooms uh, for cricket and sublimation and different things that uh, we can all interact and take part with without all the drama and advertising that goes on Facebook. Not that I might not advertise on there sometimes, but you know, it's a little bit different uh, social media platform than being out there with everything else on going on on Facebook. Anyway, keep an eye on that for a lot more content coming later this year. And uh, we're going to switch over to the computer. We're going to buy that SVG file. We're going to download it. We're going to put it in the design space. We're going to put some Cricut removable vinyl on this, uh, some matte black vinyl. Uh, it'll look real nice on this piece. And I'll show you how we're going to do that and uh, we'll get started. Okay, so we'll take a look at a few things that we're going to need for this project. Again, this is a real simple little sign project we're going to make. And one thing we're going to need is the SVG file. We're going to get this from designbundles.net and the link to buy this will be included in the video description down below. And you'll also be able to find it on troygram.com. I'll go over that in just a moment. And again, if you buy the SVG file here and some of these other products, I do get a small commission from this and it will help support the channel and the things that I do. And if you go to Troy Graham, again, here at the top, you'll find the link to my Amazon store where you can buy the shiplap uh, little pallet signs that we're using in this one. And if you click on that, you can go down here to the crafting and DIY. I have some different things here, office products, tech products, business books. But if we go to the craft and DIY, what you're looking for is these two pallet signs. Now they may move around a little bit as I add new products to my Amazon store, but uh, these two pallet signs is what you're looking for. They have them uh, available in whitewash or gray. The gray ones are a little bit less expensive, but I chose the whitewash because it matches our decor a little better. Uh, these are a little bit more expensive, $23 for two of them, so $11.50 a piece with prime shipping. And the last thing you're going to need is removable vinyl. Uh, Cricut does have uh, bulk uh, removable vinyl and permanent vinyl on their website, uh, which is what I bought. Uh, currently, the black and white, as you see here, is not on sale, but oftentimes it is. As you see here, the gold and silver is on clearance. Uh, for a pretty good price but if you keep an eye on this you'll see some different sales and things pop up and we're going to be using the uh, black removable vinyl here 
uh, in this project uh, for this purpose. All right, I've already purchased and downloaded the uh, SVG from designbundles.net and of course it downloads to my downloads folder and I need to unzip it first so I'm going to right click on it and select extract all. And as you can see, you get several different file types, DXF, EPS, PNG, and SVG. The one I'm looking for is the SVG file. And as you can see, I can see the file extensions, which is the last part of the file after the dot. Normally, you cannot see these, and you will only see the icon and the names. And I'm going to show you how to view these real quick. In Windows 10, Windows 11, it's pretty much the same. You go to File, Change Folder and Search Options and you go to the view tab and then down here you uncheck this box that says hide extensions for known file types and that will allow you to see the file extensions so that you know which file you're working with and again we're looking for the SVG file. Now I'm going to switch over to design space and I'm going to start a new project and I'm going to upload file and say upload image and I'm just going to grab my SVG file and drag and drop it over into Design Space. And I should see a nice preview. And I'm going to click Upload. And I'm going to select that image and add it to my canvas. And it comes in, uh, this one happens to come in at 8 inches by 4.9 inches. Now I've already measured my pilot sign and I have about 7.5 inches of working space. And that will leave me a little border around all four sides. So I'm going to unlock this and I'm going to adjust the size. It's going to distort it just a little bit, but uh, I'm going to be okay with that. It's, it's not going to look too bad. Uh, we're going to make it about 7.5. Uh, I'm not going to make it too tall, so there's going to be a little gap at the top and bottom, but uh, I think that looks pretty good to me. So there'll probably be about an inch on the top, inch on the bottom, and maybe a half inch or so on each side. And uh, we're going to cut that out. It's one layer. Uh, it's going to cut, and uh, this come out, should come out pretty nice. Uh, these dots are going to be a little small, but uh, we'll see how that weeds okay. Uh, I think it'll be, uh, we might have to work with that just a little bit when we're weeding it, but I think it'll all turn out just fine. So we'll switch over to the computer and cut and weed this and see how it goes. So we'll click the Make It button up here, and we're just going to leave everything as is. It's on one map, pretty simple project. We'll click Continue, and we'll select the Cricut Maker. And we're going to choose premium vinyl with default pressure, and we're using the regular fine point blade. And now we're done cutting, so we'll switch over to uh, uh, finish this up by weeding and transferring it over and applying it to the sign. Okay, so it didn't, uh, you know, the design didn't use up the entire area, so I'm just going to take my uh, Cricut True Control knife and just kind of cut this last piece off here and save that little scrap. And a lot of people ask about do you weed on the mat or do you take it off the mat uh, doesn't really matter it's personal preference when i'm working with cricket vinyl i do uh, tend to weed on the mat a little bit more often because uh, it has this pet liner for the backing and so it tends to curl a little bit more so i'll tend to leave it on the mat and weed there makes it a little bit easier to handle and Looks like that came off real nicely. So I'll go ahead and leave these little pieces out of here. A lot of people watch me weed vinyl and they ask how I can do this so quickly. And, but you have to realize that I have done thousands and thousands of vinyl projects, so it is second nature to me. It is, I know the right amount of pressure to apply with the pen and, and uh, can rip right through these things. Uh, so it's just a matter of 
practice and technique and how many projects I've done. It's just thousands and thousands and thousands. And so there is our needed sign. Does it look like we've lost any dots or little tiny pieces or anything? So we'll put some transfer tape on this. Go ahead and take it off the mat. Now here's my technique for applying transfer tape. I put the transfer tape down, face down, uh, sticky side up, and then I take my design and apply it carefully and lay it down gradually with a squeegee like that and then I'll uh, just kind of trim the excess transfer tape off so I'll squeegee the transfer tape on real well don't want to burnish too hard because when you apply pressure, too much pressure, you're, you activate the adhesive and adhere it to the backing. And here is our sign, our palette sign. Now I always recommend cleaning surfaces with rubbing alcohol most of the time, especially hard surfaces. Uh, this one, I just feel like it has a little bit of dust on it. So I'm gonna just kind of wipe it down a little bit, make sure we get all that dust off of there. Make sure it's good and clean. And we'll give it a few minutes to dry. And we'll make sure it's turned the right way. We got the picture hanger at the top here. So we'll make sure that is correct and we don't put it upside down. And fits nicely in there. And make sure all the little pieces stick on the transfer tape well as we peel it off. So as you can see, if a couple pieces don't want to stick too well, you can just kind of press them down. Not a big deal there. Pretty smooth. And the tricky part is lining it up, making sure it's in there good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the bottom of this line to line it up with the line in the palette sign. I'm just going to kind of center it visually not a big deal i'm pretty good at this a lot of people struggle lining things up visually and people ask me all the time how do you do it how do you line things up and i say with my eyes and i guess i was just gifted that way somehow so now i will squeegee this on really good now i'm putting you'll notice i'm putting my fingers back there for some support because there is a gap and i don't want to push it all the way through there Now we'll remove the transfer tape, get something to pick the corner of it a little bit there to get a hold of it. When you remove the transfer tape, I'm going to peel it back against itself real hard like that at a 180 degree angle. And that uh, lets the sheer strength of the vinyl and adhesive hold onto the surface and remove the transfer tape. Oops, a little piece that split off there. There we go. And there is our palette sign for our half bath. Get naked, just kidding, this is a half bath, don't make it weird. So we'll go hang that up downstairs and uh, our first handmade decor for our new condo in Florida. So I hope you enjoyed that. Again, the links to buy the SVG, the palette sign, the Cricut vinyl, uh, all of that, my link to my Amazon store on Troy Graham, all of those links will be in the video description down below. And you can also go to Troy Graham and find all that as well. If you have any questions or comments, post them down below the video.